this video, I'm going to show you how to add an email alias in Active Directory and 365. So I'll do the hybrid environment, uh, cloud-only accounts, and then I'll show you how to list all email aliases for users in Active Directory. Uh, I'll also show you how to bulk add email aliases and then how to add them with PowerShell. So first off in Active Directory, uh, the email alias is just the proxy addresses attribute. So to add an alias to an Active Directory user account, just open up the account, go to the attribute editor, go to proxy addresses, double click on it, and then you just do an add to add an additional email address. So and they need to start with SMTP. So SMTP capitalized is the primary email address. Lowercase will be your secondary address. So I'll just add in another address here. Click add and then click OK. So now I've just added a email alias to this user account. So this account will sync up uh, with the intra or a Azure Sync Client, and then I'll jump over to 365 and you'll see that this account now has an email alias. Okay, I'm in the 365 Admin Center, so just come to Active Users, search for your account. Here's the Heather Roberts account. Um, I will open it, and then on the Account tab, you will see under Aliases, it will list all of the aliases for that account. So here's the account that I added in Active Directory and it's synced up to its um, 365 account. If I click manage username and email, uh, I'm not going to be able to add anything here because it's a synchronized account. For synchronized accounts, you have to make all those changes to the local Active Directory. So in this next example, I will add a email alias to a 365 account. Um, so this will need to be a cloud-only account, not synced from local Active Directory. So just search for your account or browse to it. Um, I'll do it to my account here. Same thing, come into account, email aliases. And because this is a cloud account, I can now add an alias here. So let's just do Robert2. So just put the username there, don't put the domain. Uh, you just choose your domain from the dropdown, click add, save changes, and that's that's how you add an email alias to a 365 account. And there it is, super easy to do. So now I'll show you how to list all uh, users and email aliases. Uh, I'll have this command in my article. Uh, it's very simple command, it's just get AD user, filter, properties, proxy addresses, and then select the attributes you want to display. Click enter, or hit enter. And that's going to go list all your users and all the proxy addresses for each user. I'm trying to scroll up here, you can see where it displays. There you go, I can see I got two users, or a user that's got multiple proxy addresses. So uh, this is useful if you need to check all accounts and, and verify that email addresses are correct. Um, you know, during during mergers, um, you may have got, accounts may have multiple addresses and you need to clean that up. So again, this is just a quick command to show you all the proxy addresses. Uh, another way to do that is with our AD Pro Toolkit product. You can easily generate reports on user accounts just find your report and you can modify any account. Uh, I click run and it's going to go get all my accounts and show you all the proxy addresses in addition to whatever information I have uh, added to the report. So I got department, company, uh, and I could customize all these reports to display more user information. And then I can export this out to a CSV, Excel file, or a PDF file. So next, while I've got this tool, the toolkit open, you can bulk modify uh, users with this program. So I could export this list right here and then you know say I needed to update the proxy addresses or e email aliases for all of these accounts. I could just export this to a CSV file, open it, make the changes I needed to. So here's an example. So I've got a spreadsheet full of the accounts I want to update and then I want to add 
this email alias to all of these accounts. Then I would come into the AD Pro Toolkit, come into User Management, Bulk Modify Users, uh, select my CSV file, click Run. And it's going to go add uh, the email alias that I have in the spreadsheet to all of those accounts. So that was 19 accounts that I updated, and it only took you know like 30 seconds to update those accounts. So last example, you can add. Uh, an email alias using PowerShell with the set ad user command. Uh, just type in the account and then use dash add and use this command right here, proxy addresses, and then put the address in uh, parentheses there, hit enter. And that's how you add a proxy address or an email alias to account. And then you can just use the get ad user command and verify that address has been added. So that is it for this video. Um, I've got all of these examples, written instructions, and PowerShell commands in uh, a written article, and I will put that in the notes. That's it. Thanks for watching.